Now, yeah, now the cold main starting about 20 minutes, man. We good. Let me talk to the people. What's poppin'? Fight world, you rockin' with your boy, man. It's Saturday night. You know the rules. We gotta fight tonight, man. We got Lubin versus my boy Rosario, man. I like Lubin. I'm a big fan. I picked him to beat Charlo. I lost big in that fight, man. You know I was upset. Got knocked out in the first round, man. He didn't even make it to the end of the round. I was sick with it, but he came back, fought some tough competitors, and he won some tough fights, won some good decisions, man. He still has the skills to pay the bills. Listen, man, when he fought against Gouche, let me know that his chin is now all the way there. Gouche got a good punch, but the way he took that shot, I wasn't feeling too good about it, right? But he's still one of my favorite fighters, man. I want to see him at the top. I want that rematch with your boy Charlo, you know, and I think based on how he wins tonight, I will make my determination whether I'm going to pick Charlo or your boy. Lubin, Rosario lost to Charlo as well. For the great competitive fight. I thought he was winning the fight up until the knockdown. But at the end of the day, the kid got good punching power. He punches with both hands. Good, relentless pressure. But his only downside is, which is a few different downsides, he's not a good boxer, right? Doesn't have great footwork, right? He comes in without a jab sometimes, right? He rushes in with his chin up, you see me? He doesn't have a good focus when he's in that ring. And that's just due to, I think, inexperience against tough, competitive, elite fighters. So, against the... Against this matchup for me Lubin is a better boxer Lubin can move around that ring he's the shifter right uppercut hooks he's gonna give it to you he's but he's gonna be patient in this fight he understands that Rosario got a big punch so he gotta be you know systematic how he break down your boy but I think Rosario if he does these different things he can win this fight let me say it that way right because you know I want to go with Rosario but I just feel like the boxer is gonna win this fight and you know Lubin got power too but at the end of the day, man, I, I, I'm going to go with my, look, man, I'm just going to go with my heart, man, and say I'm going with Lubin. But uh, the other half can be say, come on, Rosario, you're going to do some things. And when he touched that boy, you see me? But I'm going to go with Lubin. We're going to keep it there. I got a little couple of dollars on this thing, 300 for my boy Lubin anyway. But I'm just saying in my heart, with you guys, I'm telling you, Rosario is more than just a, a, a guy that got a chance. He got a 95% chance of winning this fight. I'm going with my heart. So that 5%, I got to put it on my boy Lubin because I got big money on the main event with your boy, uh, Tank Bisexual Davis. So at the end of the day, well, I'm picking my boy uh, Mario's Barrios, if you didn't know. Uh, at the end of the day, man, yeah, man, Lubin, listen, your boy Rosario got to push back. He got to push the action, man. He got to push your boy Lubin back, and he got to keep that, that stick, that long stick popping. He got to double and triple that jab upstairs. Forget about downstairs. That'll come, but you need to focus upstairs, and your boy Lubin likes to do He's on the rope, so he's going back. He like to squat down and use a, you know, uh, to, to, to avoid the punch. And that's where you catch him at. Just like how your boy uh, Charlo caught him. When he squats down for that, you know, to slip the hook or slip the jab, that's when you need to time it. It's going to take a few rounds to time it. But if your boy Rosario was looking at everything that he does, his feints, where does your boy Lubin go? When he steps forward with a jab, where does Lubin go? Where does his head go? Where does his body go? How does he react to his feints? And I think if he's able to time Lubin, he can knock him out and he can stop the fight. Period. But he ain't going to win a 12-round decision. That's why I'm saying, you know, your boy Lubin got more ways to win. He can win by a 12-round decision. Body shots, head shots, movement, slipping and dipping. You know, making himself look really good for the judges. And he also can get the knockout if he can set up something real proper. So that's why I'm like, you know, it's like one of those two things, man. But I don't want to hold you guys too much, man. The fight about to go down. Go to the next video. We going live on this thing. You rocking with your boy CBT, man. I'm the prediction king, man. I'm predicting my boy Lubin by a 12-round decision. I'm predicting my boy Mario. Mario's bars by a knockout early, maybe the sixth, maybe the sixth, but maybe the eighth. But we gotta think about it, the ninth. But if the eleventh come, your boy is getting hurt. That means your boy Tank Bisexual Davis is getting hurt and he's losing the fight. So for me, twelve round decision. But I'm looking for the knockout for my boy Mario's Barrios. She's rocking with your boy. Go to the next video. We going live on this thing. <laughs>